the, the, oh, hi, uh, I didn't see you there. Anyways, what is up, YouTubers? John Zay here, and if you notice in the title below, it is my very first top 10, and it's my top 10 most favorite Pokemon, like, my most favorite Pokemon in general. It's not gonna be, like, of strengths or weaknesses or anything about that. Well, some of it is, but... Not too much into it, it's basically just of the guys I like and basically how they are. And before I get into this video, once again, I'm sorry that I haven't been making, I haven't been uploading much videos. I've been kind of, uh, busy with some stuff lately, but I'll try my best to get some videos up for you guys. So, without further ado, and yeah, this one is coming out before some more Pokemon Diamond games, like, some more Pokemon Diamond, uh videos come out and there's gonna be at least six more of those just to let you guys know cuz I did make a lot like nine so the last three and then yeah anyways without further ado sorry been a minute let's get into this so my tenth favorite one is Charmeleon it is a fire type weak against rock ground and water it evolves into a Charizard and it's Lower Evolution is Charmander. And the reason I really like Charmander, I mean, just look at the way it looks. It looks so cool. I mean, sure, it doesn't have the wings like Charizard, but still, Charmeleon looks so cool. I mean, literally, who, who wouldn't want a Pokemon like that? Charmeleon's cool. Alright. Yeah, I mean, and also, Charmeleon is the only one of the evolutions that actually changed color. Both Charmander and Charizard are both orange. Uh, it's like he changed his color back and forth. It's like, orange? Now I'll turn red. Now I'll go back to orange. I like that better. Alright, so anyways, let's move on. The next Pokemon is Krogunk. I don't know if you can see the stats, but it's a poison and fighting type. It is weak against, uh... Psychic Rock, and I don't know what that blue one is. I... Don't really know. But Grogun Kid has been something really cool. I mean, I really like his design. He looks really cool. And I always liked when he uh, poison jabbed Brock whenever he got oh, Goo, Goo Gaga on, like, with girls. That was really funny. I, re I really like Grogun. He seems to be really a smart one, indeed. Alright. Number eight. Gliscor. Gliscor is evolves from a Gligar. It is a flying and ground type. Weak against. Could say steel and psychic, maybe? I don't know. That it's either probably psychic or dragon, I'm not sure. I don't know. I took this off my iPad, I, like took a picture from it, so I don't really know. It evolves from Gligar. Yeah, you can't really see the stats, sorry about that. And but uh yeah, it's I really think it's cool because of the way it glides and its design also really looks cool. Hang on, maybe if I go a little closer. There you go. Now you can kind of see Gliscor better. I should probably have done that by the others, but you guys probably know. But yeah, I really like him because, well, he has like a tail so he can stand up pretty cool. And I really like his design. It's really awesome. Alright. Number seven is Apom, the big A. A Apom evolves into Amipom. Now, I know Amipom has, like, two tails and all, but Apom was, like, an original thing. I mean, Apom was first discovered in Johto, even though he was more into the uh, Hoenn and jo in Sinnoh when they caught, when Ash caught it, and then it traded off with Dawn. But still, Apom is really cool. I really like that uh, he has the tail on tail hand. I really think that's really cool. I mean, look at him. He's also cute. He's cute. He's cute. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he cool? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Number six is Buizel, the Water Weasel Pokemon. This one I really like indeed. It is pretty fast. I also just like the design. Like, water type Weasel, and it's orange. I also like the float collar. That just looks cool. It's a water type, and it's weak against grass and uh, all that trick. And its evolved form is uh, Floatzel, but I really like how it is. I th really think it's... I think it would be, like, a really great addition to a Pokemon team. Yeah. 
And I know some of these are from my Pokemon Diamond game, but it's because I like them. But I do have to say that Charmeleon and Krogunk aren't on my team. Same with Apom. They work a life score. But they are Pokemon mostly from Sinnoh. Next up is Staravia. It is a uh, normal and flying type being against uh, electric. It uh, looks like ice and rock, I think. It evolves into a Staraptor, which looks cool, and it evolves from a Starly. It is pretty quickly, pretty quick, and uh, Staravia is just one of those cool-looking birds. I mean, I, do you see this thing? It looks so cool. I would really like to have a Staravia. Just like, even if it's not even that big, just have it on my arm and just look, have a nice pose picture with it. I mean, it looks so intimidating. Next up is number four. Oh, number four, which is Turtwig. Turtwig is a really cool grass type. I really enjoy seeing him in the series of Diamond and Pearl. He he was usually the one that always had to break up fights. He seemed like more of a leader and stuff, which I really thought he's cool. And he's a grass type, and it looks like holy crap! He looks like he has a lot of weaknesses, which are what are they? Oh, like. Bug, fire, something psychic, dragon, and ice, probably. Yeah. Turtwig is not really something you want to be around, like, get to use, because he has very weak stats to other Pokemon. But this is from X and Y, so we don't really know. Alright, number three. We're getting, we're getting close to the end. Is my boy Gengar. Now, I really like Gengar... It's because of his strengths. He is a ghost and psychic type, which he is also weak to ghost. I think that might be psychic, actually. And he's also weak to dark and uh, poison, I think that is. I don't know, I it's really hard to see. But I really like Gengar because he's, like, super fast, so you can usually always get the first turn a lot, which is pretty good because some of the moves that you get to use are, like, Hypnosis and Confuse Ray, which are really, really useful to have, especially if you have the first turn. I always, always like using him in Pokemon Stadium. I always usually win with him. And he gets to learn all Electric-type moves, so that'll be handy. I mean, Gengar has just been really, really cool. And remember that Gat... Well, I don't know. No, never mind. I, I haven't caught it yet, so I'm not going to spoil. But no, you will see something like this later in my... Thing. All right, the second, this this the second one, guys. The second one, it is Chimchar, one of the most guys I like. Well, the one reason is because I like monkeys, and it's a freaking fire type, right? It's also weak against water, rock, and I want to say like ground. Yeah, that's it. And uh, his stats are pretty even, except for his speed. It looks like his speed might be down. And it evolves into a Monferno and an Infernape, which they seem pretty cool. And he turns into a fire fighting type afterwards, which is pretty okay. But I really like Chimchar the most out of the three because, I mean, he's cute. I mean, literally, like, you could just walk around and have a Chimchar on your shoulder. It would be really fun to have. And the last one, and yeah, this one I know it's pretty common around every Pokemon episode. It is Pikachu. Pikachu has been my most favorite one ever. He's, wait, okay, no, that's not his speed, alright. For a minute I thought his speed was low. Oh, okay, yeah, now I can see. I'm getting deja vu, actually, just looking at the screen and then what I have here. I'm getting deja vu of this. But yeah, you got, well, I was just wondering because I thought this. Uh, if you're wondering, the dark blue is what is actually its thing. I thought for a minute it was just uh, its speed was low, but it wasn't. It was actually high. But Pikachu, I really like Pikachu's speed and stuff. I also like the set of attacks it has. Like, I mean, it can, you can even teach it Iron Tail and Electro Ball, which is pretty awesome. I really like Ash's uh, set of moves. It's really unique. And, you know, all throughout Gen 4, I remember he had the moves Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, Quick Attack, and Volt Tackle. He had that throughout the entire series of that. And he's had it f 
from Hoenn all the way to Unova, and then Unova changed Volt Tackle to Electro Ball, which is kind of weird because Volt Tackle was introduced in Hoenn, and then it just got replaced. Just kind of weird. Like, I mean, you could have got rid of, like, Quick Attack because what the use of that, but, yeah. Also, Pikachu has been the very first Pokemon I've ever got come to know because, um, uh, well, I, I haven't really watched Pokemon right when it came out, but still, I've pretty much known Pikachu for a long time. It has been the one Pokemon I always remembered in my spare time, so, yeah. Also, it evolves its uh, electric types weak to ground, and that's basically it, which is kind of cool. And it evolves into a Raichu, and it evolves from a Pichu. Just thought I'd say that out. So there you guys go. That is my top ten Pokemon. So, if you weren't aware, I'll kind of go through them again, kind of just in a fast way. So we got number ten, Charmeleon. Number nine, Krogunk. Number 8, Gliscor. Number 7, Apom. Number 6, Buizel. Wait, where? Okay, there we go. Number 5, Staravia. Number 4, Turtwig. Number 3, Gengar. Number 2, Chimchar. And finally, Number one, Pikachu himself. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this first top ten. I'm probably going to do a couple others. I already have two ideas for others, but I won't spoil them. Well, okay, yeah, I will spoil them. I will do another kind of Pokemon thing of top ten. It will be my least top ten favorites. And I'll probably do my top ten favorite animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's because... That is a pretty fun game. So anyways, I'm going to end that video here. I should probably delete these now since I don't need them. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, press the like button or subscribe to whatever. And I shall see all you dudes in the next video. See ya.